Man, is it roguelike o'clock again? All right, lay it on me. Give me more roguelikes and I'll continue to slam face against them. Today we have Hack Slash Loot, a game that, well, the title says it all. Guess my work here is done. I'm hitting Taco Bell. All right, I'm back. They all laughed when I installed the Chalupa Bot 2000 in the commissary. Where was I? Oh yeah. Hack Slash Loot is a roguelike where you do exactly what's on the tin because they really boiled this one down to the basics. After choosing between the fighter, archer, or mage characters, you're dropped into one of several stories, either selected by you or at random, stuck in a tiny room with bare bones equipment and given a huge dungeon to explore. In other words, part of typical roguelike. Doesn't really try to make any big strides in the genre, rather it really works at solidifying what roguelikes do best. Grid-based, hacky, slashy combat, and obsessive compulsive item collection. Don't begin to think that it'll be easy though, roguelikes rarely are. The halls and rooms of these dungeons are absolutely lousy with oozes, bats, lizard men, goblins, kobolds, trolls, minotaurs, dark elves, basically just beat your head against a D&D source book for about 20 minutes and you'll get the picture. Your recourse is to slash, shoot, or cast through them, depending on what you feel like equipping at the time, then wading through their mangled carcasses to get to the next door. Along the way you'll find a bevy of chests, some of which will probably turn out to be mimics, just saying, bookshelves, desks, and other treasure hoarding spots that hold scrolls, potions, or other various pieces of gear. There are a number of stats to juggle as you gear up. Do you sacrifice a point of defense for two of offense? Is that boost to your magical ability worth the vulnerability to necrotic damage? Silver sword or non-silver sword? In any way, the most important thing to remember is this. If you get a regeneration effect from a troll scroll or whatever, you're more or less got the whole game in your hand. Hack Slash Loot's simple pixel-based design straddles that comfortable line between retro and tricks we've learned since retro was new. It's not afraid to put on a bit of flair at times, though the sound effects and music stay rather minimal over the course of the adventure. The controls are, admittedly, optimized for the mouse user, though you can adapt rather readily to using the number pad and keyboard if you prefer. And I prefer. It's instantly accessible, brings just enough challenge, and always keeps you guessing as to exactly what you'll be up against. While it might not have a recognizable license, like Pokemon or Final Fantasy or whatnot, it's an awesome entry point into this unforgiving genre of danger and calculated risk. The same kind of calculated risk inherent in ordering a chili cheese fry griller from the Taco Bell when you know you'll be in public later that day. Who says video games don't prepare you for the real world? <laughs> 